Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Louis Vuitton SLG collection. So if you would like to see what I have, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to go in the order of how I got these items. So the first item that I ever got was my first Louis Vuitton piece ever. It was back in 2009 when I had just turned 16 and I really, really wanted this. So this is the Louis Vuitton Key Clay or the Key Pouch. It is in the monogram canvas. And this is 11 years old. This, it's, and it's still in good condition. I will show you some of the wear. This little clasp has actually turned to be silver now because this is gold plated but that's fine it it doesn't it's not in as bad of shape for being 11 years old and in here I just well I always have it attached to my keys for my car and in here I just have cards that pertain to my car so this was the first item that I ever bought with my own money I saved my money from Christmas and birthdays to purchase this and I love it I I see it every day, I use it every day, it just is just a forever piece for me. So if anybody is looking into starting a collection of uh, SLGs, I highly recommend this one to be your first. It will test if you like the fashion house. So yeah, this is the first Louis Vuitton item that I ever got. And the second item that I got was a item that I've wanted for forever. I always wanted to have a Louis Vuitton wallet. It was always like a dream of mine to have one. <laughs> so last year, because this is one year old, so if anybody would like to see a one year review on this wallet, I will definitely be able to do that. So the next item is the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. This is also in monogram canvas. All of these are monogram. I wanted to stick with monogram. I just like to have all of my SLGs match. So yeah, this is the Zippy wallet. This is one year old. I bought this back in 2019 in April. And yeah, I have the red interior. And then this item, I had bought this because just for a downsize wallet. So this is the Zippy coin purse. And I love this one. I love that you get the two card slots and then this bigger pocket right back here. And then I also like that you get this center pocket. I don't use it as a coin purse. I use it as a downsized wallet. It actually still has the um, plastic on it because this is a fairly new item, but I'm obsessed with it. Every time I use my Palm Springs Mini, this is my downsized wallet. So yeah, this is the Zippy coin purse. And now this item is one that I didn't think that I would like so much, but... I am obsessed with it now. I use it every single day. It has all of my essentials and it is the toiletry pouch number 19. And in this I keep all of my essentials. Um, I did a what's in my bag so if you would like to see what all fits in this pouch I will link it up above for you to check out. But yeah, I love this pouch. It holds so much and I'm just obsessed with it. I always have it in my purse. It holds so much. Um, I love it because it's the number 19 and that's my favorite number. Um, but yeah, so if you're thinking about one of the pouches, if you want to just choose one of the trifecta, um, I definitely recommend this one, but I do have the toiletry 15. So this is the toiletry 15. I got this to be a um, makeup bag. It actually has the tags, which I am going to take out. I considered selling this, um, but now I'm just going to keep it in my collection to be a makeup bag. I've only used it a few times. So cute. It does hold a lot. Um, it, it really depends on how you put items in but yeah this is the toiletry 15 I had the 26 but I did sell it to acquire another item which I will get to in a second but yeah this is the toiletry 15 if you would like a makeup bag I recommend this one as well because it does have that wipeable interior and that's always good to just in case something spills and then this item is a fairly new item which I've wanted for so long I stalked the website. I went between wanting the Damier Aben uh, print 
and but I just wanted to keep all my SLGs to be in monogram but this is an item that I was on a huge hunt for and I finally found it online and it is the mini pochette and I still have not used it yet but I am just so excited to own it and it is made in France as well if you can see that and I love I think the way that I am going to wear it is as a wristlet but I'm not quite sure what I want to put inside of it just of yet but yeah I was just so happy to have it I just love it it is such a cute adorable piece I've wanted it for so long um, I do have a unboxing if you would like to check that out I will also link that above and yeah this is the monogram mini pochette and the last item in my collection is fairly new to me. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I did sell the Toiletry 26. It just wasn't working for me. I just couldn't figure out what would fit in it, what I would use it for. So I did sell it to acquire this item. And this is the cosmetic pouch in the GM size. And yeah, I really liked that it had the pockets on the inside you get the lipstick pocket and then two little slip pockets you can see that but yeah this is still very new um, it is actually also made in France which is pretty cool which it doesn't matter to me I'm not too picky of where they're made but yeah so this is still fairly new um, and I plan on using it for everything not just for cosmetics um but yeah so i'm happy to own this i love that it is super big it looks like it will hold a lot i've seen some reviews on it i've seen people carry this as a clutch which i think that would be cute if you found like a little um thing to attach as like a wristlet to this so i think that would be super cute and this is the last item that is in my collection and that is it for this video, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please like this video, leave me a comment down below, share with your friends, and please subscribe so you won't miss out on any more videos from me, and I will see you in the next one.